So how do we diagnose and treat a patient having enlarged or hypertrophy turbinates? Whenever a patient comes to us with nose block, we examine the nose under the headlight. Hypertrophy turbinates can easily be seen under headlight. Once we diagnose hypertrophy turbinates, we try to understand what is the reason behind enlargement of these turbinates. If we suspect allergies in the patient, we advise an allergic skin prick test. In this skin prick test, we try to identify the allergens which are causing the allergy issues for the patient and to what extent he is allergic to that substance. Based on that, we might advise complete avoidance or cyclic rotation of these allergens. If we suspect sinus issues for the patient, we advise a CT scan for the nose and sinus. If we find sinus issues on the CT scan, we can treat him medically or surgically and this changes on a case-to-case -case basis. Like I already mentioned, in patients having rebound rhinitis or rhinitis medicamentosa, where patients unknowingly abuse the nasal drops, we advise the patients to immediately stop using the nasal drops. Some patients get so habituated and dependent on the nasal drops that they cannot stop them suddenly. For these patients, we advise them to use the nasal drops in an alternating fashion. That is, one night they'll be putting the nasal drops only in the right nose and the next night they'll be putting the nasal drops only in the left nose. In this way, over the next one week or 10 days, we can break the dependency of the patient on the nasal drops and make him stop the nasal drops completely. This is the only way we can treat this condition. In the patients who are exposed to active or passive smoking, we advise the patients to stop smoking completely and not only that, we advise the patients to stop exposing the smoke fumes which come from the other people smoking the cigarettes. For pregnant women, children born with enlarged turbinates or people who developed enlarged turbinates because of aging, we advise medication like saline nasal drops, saline nasal sprays, antihistamines and steroid nasal sprays. For some patients, even on taking care of the root cause and giving good medical treatment, they do not get good relief from the nose block. For these patients, we advise surgical management. There are two surgical methods which are primarily performed for dealing with the enlarged turbinates. In first method, we apply laser, coblator or cautery at different points along the length of the turbinate and we try to shrink the tissue of the inferior turbinate. And in this way, by shrinking the turbinate tissue, we can produce more space in the nose. The second and more advanced technique is the turbinoplasty. This is what we regularly do at the sinus doctor center. In this surgical method, we give an incision, that is we give a cut along the entire length of the inferior turbinate. We elevate the mucosa, that is the skin overlying the inferior turbinate. We remove the excess bone and the soft tissue and we reposition the skin or the mucosa over the cut end of the turbinate. This gives more control over the amount of tissue we remove and also gives long lasting results. You have to remember one thing, even after doing either of the surgical methods, it is important to understand the root cause which primarily caused the enlargement or the hypertrophy of the turbinates and we have to keep addressing it even after the surgery. 